Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Mega iPhone Reviews, and here we have a review of the Diddy In-Ear Beats by Dre and uh, P. Diddy. Uh, it has the control talk cable that it says works with the BlackBerry here, and um, it does work with my iPhone. That's really all I've tested it on my iPhone, but it works with the BlackBerry as well. I'm not sure about other smartphones. And uh, let's get on to the review. So I've already unboxed these things, so I went over basically what comes inside the box. Um, the carrying case and the ear tips and all that sort of stuff. So if you want to see that video, check it out. Look through my other videos. And here, let's start the review. Let's move that box up back. And let's start from the bottom of these. So these are the in-ear beats, actually. Let me just show you that quickly. So in-ear. And so start from the bottom of these. So it has an L-shaped jack bottom. The gold-plated 3.5 millimeter jack. Um, which works real uh, well. I prefer that strongly over a straight jack just because it's more uh, functional. Also, the Blackberry thing, it's on the side, so it fits nicely with the Blackberry. So it's metal up here and then a rubbery sort, sort of material up here, so uh, you can bend it a bit. So you shouldn't have any worries about snapping that off. So now we have this noodle shaped cable, which actually is a really cool cable. Um, it's real different. I've never really seen those before, but. It works well, and they don't break, and they don't tangle at all. It's not the thickest thing, but it's very strong. Like, you shouldn't have any problems breaking it, and it doesn't tangle at all. Like, if I just wrap these up a bit, like, this would just be, like, hell for the Apple earphones, but there you go, and put that through, and blah, 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 and they just come out easily. No tangling with these, which is awesome. You can just stick them in your pocket or in the carrying case. So now you have this metal splitter that has the Beats by Dre and Monster logo on here, so Monster here, or it says Diddy Beats back here, and these do become a problem, I'll get to that in a second, but this is about as heavy as the entire earphones, and then the earphones by themselves are extremely light, but this is really heavy and weighs it down, and I'll get to that in a few minutes. So scroll up from the splitter, then you have this piece which is just the adjuster for the size, then you have your control talk cable, right here, which I mentioned in the review is, um, I actually said it doesn't have the volume control, but it does, that's my, my pair is, um, an early copy likely, a review sample, so it's one of the copies that didn't have the up and down volume, but, uh, the real ones should have that, and this also has the pause, play, the microphone, which sounds just like the Apple one, you can skip your music by pressing it a few times to move up even more, and then you actually have the Diddy Beats right here. And just look at those for a minute. And these look real nice, as you can see. Really, really nice. And they actually stick out of your ear a bit more than I thought they would, which actually shows them off quite a bit. As you can see, the DB for Diddy Beats, and then this lining over here. And then it has this leather padding, which just, it's a, it's a little design, very minimal, but makes it look really nice. And then I have my Comply Foam Tips, which are the earbuds I've been using with these. Um, the reason I use this is because it's, pretty much the best fitting one. Uh, they can fit anyone, you just bend them up like this. And then maybe you can, you can even see it on camera, but it just expands. Hopefully you can see that, I'll leave that for about 10 more seconds. And as you can see, it's growing and growing, and it just grows until it can't get any bigger, so it's the best possible fit for your ears. As well, uh, one little problem I, th I have with these is, I don't know if the camera will focus, but there you go. If you see that L right there, it's extremely small and very hard to see, even with your eyes. So you kind of have to remember, control talk is the left earbud. No control talk is the right earbud. And, yeah, so, one more thing about the build quality, like I said, I mentioned earlier, is this metal splitter. The problem with this is, since it's very heavy, it weighs them down. So if you don't have a perfect fitting earbud, um, these can really pull down and pull, actually pull it out of your ear, not completely pull it out, but make it so it doesn't fit uh, very comfortably and you kind of have to hold them in your ear, put them back in your ear every few minutes, which is very annoying and um, that's why I use the Comply Foam Tips because there's the perfect fit like that and so that doesn't affect me, but that's a real nuisance. So what I like to do is I like to tuck this into my shirt so it doesn't become a weight problem and weigh me down, but... Um, I don't really know what Monster Cable can really do to fix that, unless you get a perfect fitting earbud, these will be a problem, but with a perfect fitting, with if these fit in your ear real nicely then, you shouldn't have that problem. So that's it for the build quality, these are very sturdy, you shouldn't have any problems with them breaking, and Monster Cable does have great customer service and a great warranty policy, 
So you should have no problems with these. So like I said, these are made by Monster Cable, the Beats by Dre line. And these are, I think, designed by Diddy himself. I'm not too sure about that, but you can check them out at monstercable.com or beatsbydre.com. They did send these for me to review, so thanks a lot to them. And the one more thing, or the last thing about these, is I want to get onto sound quality because these are about $180. And you really want to know about the sound. It's not just about look for earphones. Um, so these, these sound pretty good. Um, the bass isn't heavy like the normal Beats by Dre are. Like the studios or, or um, the solos or anything like that, which are the ones I've really tried out. They don't have that thumping bass that, um, that really controls the music. It's more about a clarity sort of uh, earphone. You can hear books really well. The vocals, the mids, the highs, all that sort of stuff. These are a really clear pair of earphones. They're not really for the heavy bass. Um, if you really like a lot of bass, I wouldn't really recommend them. But if you want some clear, crisp sounding um, music, I would like. I would really recommend these. These sound really nice, and it's uh, it's just a good sounding pair of earbuds. You don't get that bass, but you still get some bass, just not a ton, and it doesn't thump at all. But overall, I would recommend these for a hundred. $80, they are expensive, so I wouldn't say just go out and get them no matter what you have to have these. But if you do have the money, if you're looking for a new pair of earbuds, you want a mix of quality sounding without a lot of bass and all the build quality, this cable, the looks, and everything combined, these are worth it and these are very nice. I myself would not buy a $180 pair of earbuds simply because... Um, I'm just not a huge audiophile, I don't listen to too much music where I need these, but once you try them, you're really going to like them, and uh, if you know someone who has them, be sure to try them out, let me know what you guys think, if you have any of the Beats by Dre, Diddy Beats, anything like that, let me know in the comments below, post a video response, a comment, if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe, so this is Mega iPhone Reviews, and uh, thanks for watching guys, I also reviewed the Solo HDs, and unboxed those too, so check that out, so this is Mega iPhone Reviews, and thanks.